Hello, this is a short demo on uh, how a clever combination of server and site admins can be used or leveraged to define a certain user quota on certain sites. So in order to do this, let's just set up a little uh, demo system. So I'm logging in as the overall server admin here on my site, uh, on my on my Tableau server, and I'm just going to add two new sites. Um, just for simplicity, we're going to call one of them A. And um, the only setting I'm going to change here from the default is the number of users per server. So this is this is basically one of the main settings that we're going to work with um, because this allows us not only to define who can add or remove new, uh, new users to a site, in our case, this should be the site administrator, uh, but we can also define the maximum number, like the, the limit of number of users that can exist on a site. So uh, for good measure, let's say, okay, site A can have up to 10 users. I'm going to uh, accept the defaults for all the other settings. And um, then let's also create another site for simplicity. Again, let's call it B. And we are going to give it the same maximum number of users of 10. All right. So now we can see our two new sites over here in our site overview. And over here, we can also see um, that Tableau server recognize this maximum number of users for each of those two sites. And uh, we can also see that currently each of those sites has one user on it already, um, which is basically our server admin, which is the user that I'm currently logged into. Since I created those sites, I'm automatically being added to those sites as an admin. We can also see there's no site admins yet. So that's the first step we should then do while we are still logged in as the server admin. So what I'm going to do manually for now is to create a site admin A. And um, I'm going to assign him or her to site A and give her the site role of site administrator explorer. It doesn't really matter. I could also give it the creator, but for now, let's just say it's the explorer. We are not going to make her a server admin, only the site admin, and uh, she's only assigned to site A. Okay, we're going to add her. Has been created. So now we can do the same with user B. And we're going to add him or her only to site B. And we are going to assign a site role again of site administrator explorer. All right, so now that our site setup is done, um, the server admin can log out and we can actually start working on our site uh, administration. So for the start, I'm going to log in as site admin A. And we can see we're automatically being redirected to site A. We can see this up here. Um, because this is the only site that the site admin ex exists at. And we can also see since I am a site admin, I do have the option of adding or modifying working on the number of users. Now we can see since the server admin is actually not necessary on this uh, site anymore and there is a site admin, actually the only user, we can see the user count up here, uh, the only user that currently exists on the site is the site admin A, which is the the user that I'm currently logged in as. Um, okay, so remember we created the site with a maximum user number of 10. Um, so for good measure, let's now add some users. And because um, I don't wanna type all of these, we can use our bulk import feature. So you can see here is a CSV file of 10 dummy users, which I can add to the site. So it's user A1 to A10, um, and they will all be explorers. Doesn't really matter. You could define a, a specific site role for each of them, but for now, let's just uh, use explorer because that's not really the point of this demo. Okay, so let's bulk import them using the import from file feature. I can browse to the location and uh, use that CSV file to import the users. And we can see 10 users have been processed, um, but the interesting part is actually here in the details. So we can see 10 users have been created. We can also see the 10 users have been added to the site, um, but we can also see two more messages. One is site rule for nine users has been updated. And we can also see site rule for one user was not changed. And the reason is because this site has reached its user quota limit. We can see this is user A10. Now what happened here? So remember, we set the site limit to 10 users. One of those seats, the 10 seats that we have is already covered by the site admin A. You can see it also up here. We, we talked about this earlier. And then I tried to import another 10 users. Now that would be 11, right? And you can actually see up here, we do have 11 users on this site now. The only problem is since we have only 10 licensed users available for the site, 
Tableau Server had to cut off at some point. And so we can see since Tableau Server works through the CSV file from top to bottom, we can see the last one in the list, user A10, actually did uh, fall through. So this poor guy is now unlicensed. So the user was imported, all the credentials, the email address and everything is created on the server. The only thing is he or she did not get a license seat, so he or she will not be able to log in currently. So the problem is we have currently 11 users on this site with a site limit of only 10, so there's nothing I can do. Even if I tried, um, there's no seat available. Well, I could actually change those here, which would then unlicense one of the others. All right, um, so let's see what we can do about this. So I'm going to sign out now and actually um, go into log in as the site admin B first. And we can do the same thing over here. So we are just going to import. Again, you can see on site B, we have site admin B as the only user. I can import another file. We've seen that already. Create users for site B. We can import them. In this file, I only created five users, so there's no problem. Five users have been processed and the site rules have been updated for all five users, B1 through B5. Everything is nice and dandy. Currently, we have six users on the site. So since we have a site limit of 10, there's four seats still available. So that's nice. Um, now let's sign out and let's log in back as the server administrator on site A. Or actually, let's go back to this overview of manage all sites, because now we can see a very interesting thing here for site A. We can see that there's currently 12 users with a maximum numbers of 10. Now, one of them, one of those 12 users is the server admin. So you can basically subtract this. So basically what you can see here is that we now have one more users than we currently have on our quota because we still have the quota of 10 users maximum. OK, but the good thing is we can change this very easily. So if I'm now the server admin and site admin A calls me and says, hey, look, I have really big growth and success with Tableau here in my, in my department. I need more users, please. Well, that's not a problem. We can just edit the sites, uh, edit the settings for site A. And where it so far says 10 users, maybe we can now set this one to 15. All right, because uh, this is what they need. So let's now set it to 15. We can see there's still 12 users active on the site or combined with the site on a maximum quota of 15 users. So that's nice. Now let's see how this looks for, actually, before we do this, let's have a look at site B. Everything is clean here. So we currently have seven users uh, connected to the site and the quota is 10. So they still have a little bit of room for growth. So that's nice. Now let's sign out and let's sign in back as the site admin A to see what changed. Um, up here, we can now see, okay, we still have 11 users on our site. That hasn't changed. One site admin and 10 actual users. We can also see that still user A10 has a site role of unlicensed. Now, while we do have enough uh, quota now for this user also to get a license, since Tableau Server doesn't know by default which site role to provide this user, it's still set to unlicensed. So we still need to manually set this one. Okay, so uh, let's give it a site role now and we change it from unlicensed, maybe set it, let's also set it to Explorer can publish. Um, so that's nice. So now that we have more seats available on our site, we can actually start adding more users. And I can do this again by adding more users, importing them from the file again. And we can see there is a file now called create more users for site A. Um, so we can import those users and we can see what happens. So this file contains four users and we can see four users have been created and also the site roles have been updated for all four users. So users A11 through 14 have now been successfully added to this page. Now, this is actually the site limit that we set in the settings earlier, 15, right? So let's see from the other side, what would happen if somebody tried to manually add a new user while the site limit is already um, uh, exceed it. So let's call this one no more space, no more space, and give him the password. And we can see in the side roles, there's only unlicensed. So yes, we can actually create one more user or we can, like we saw earlier, we can import multiple users, but they will be automatically provided a side role of unlicensed. So they would exist on the server, but they cannot log in, they cannot do anything with the server because their side role is set to unlicensed. Okay, I'm not actually going to add this one. 
Now, the last thing that I actually want to touch on is if we are currently set to a site limit of 15 users and we're using all 15 seats, um, let's see what happens if the admin, the evil admin decides, okay, site A, you will now be limited to a smaller number of users. So let's see, I'm going as the server admin now, I'm going to the administration console for site A, I'm going to edit the settings and I'm going to set the limit to a smaller number. So currently we have a limit of 15 users and we do have 15 users uh, licensed on the site. So what happens if I change this one to 10? Well, it says actually Tableau Server gives me an error message here or a warning that says user quota cannot be less than the current number of site users. So in this scenario, actually the server admin would have to go in to the user management of site A and actually maybe unlicense five users. Actually, we can do this. Uh, we can, for example, say, okay, users, let's see, um, A11 through 14 and also user 10. So those are the five users that we kind of want to kick out of the site. So we can actually um, remove them from site A or actually at least give them an unlicensed site role like this. And now if we go back to the site management, we can actually, you can see there's still 16 users on the site with a maximum user of 15, including our server setting. And now I can actually go in and change this one to only 10 users, which is okay because now Tableau Server knows, okay, while there's 16 or 15 real users on the site, there's only 10 that currently uh, use a license. So I can easily set down the maximum number of licensed users so managing users actually means managing licensed users. Um, we can actually reduce the number of licensed users, the maximum number of licensed users on this site to 10, because there is only 10 people currently using up a license. There's five users on top of this, but they're unlicensed already. So that is not a problem. And we can save this one and everybody's happy. So this was just a short overview of how you can use a combination of site settings by the server admin and then the user management and user user adding features by the site admins, how you can actually leverage those to create actual user quotas on sites and thereby manage the maximum number of users for a certain project, a certain department or a certain client using the site concept in Tableau Server and all of them are still running on the same license key. Thanks for watching.